Hello guys, welcome to the new video. In this video, I wanted to showcase how the OneNote app works on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet and on the Microsoft Surface Pro here that I have. This is, I think, the third generation. But it will again showcase how the performance is here in this app because I realized that there are the differences between the handwriting quality. And I have three pens here. I have the HP USI pen, I have the Lenovo USI pen and I have the Surface Pro pen and we will go first through the pens then I will showcase the how they write on this application in this OneNote application. So before we get started don't forget to subscribe and uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. So let's start with the pens. I have three pens as I said I have the Microsoft Surface Pen, which will only work on the Microsoft Surface 2-in-1 device. This is the most premium one, it's also the most expensive one. You have also a button on the top, it also works with battery, you can open it and change the battery. And you have also two buttons here, to, I use it one often as an eraser. And the pin is also thin and sharp, I would say sharper than the Lenovo one, but it's a little bit thicker than the HP one. But I realized when I write with this pen, it gives me the best experience. Then comes the HP one, which costs also like 80 euro, I would say. And this is also USI pen, similar to the Lenovo one. So these will only work on the Lenovo Duet. They will not work on the Microsoft Surface device. And you can see the difference in the pin tip here, how sharp it is, the HP one. And there are also some differences. This is works with the battery and this you need to charge it. You have the USB-C port here so you can charge it. And it also has a battery indicator, which is also a good thing that you can see when the battery is low. And this one also comes with two tips in the box so you can change it if it's damaged. Both of these devices, I have the same uh, username for my OneNote account, and I have this Office 365. So whatever I write in the Lenovo Chromebook Duet will show in the, the Surface Pro one. So I will always try to write on one of these and showcase it on the, as a screen. I will use the other one that you guys can see the quality. I can showcase it here shortly, how it will look like. One second, I have to click on that. I get this. You can see that what I write here will be shown in the other screen. So you guys will see the another when I write in one device, you will see the other device as a monitor. So you guys can get a better glance at how their writing quality is here. Now I will try to write on the Chromebook Duet and you guys will see it on the Surface Pro. I will start with the HP one. And I will also write exactly which device I'm using and which app so we can follow it later. I'm going to start with the HP one and the Duet. So this is a Duet device here. And this is an Android application. All right, also this is a first try. And also here this is a test. This was with the HP USI pen here. Now I will write with the Lenovo USI pen. So this is Duet. This is an Android app. This also writes good, but the feeling is a little bit weird because of the wrong tip here. First try, this is a test. Lenovo USI. Now I will switch to the web app here. Now I will try to write in the web app. First I will use the Lenovo one again. The problem with the web app is that 
you don't have these lines that can help you to write properly, help lines or rule lines, and the palm rejection doesn't work on the web app. Most probably you guys will see that also. So I will write, this is a duet, this is a web app, this is a first try, this is a test, and again, this is a Lenovo USI pen. The quality of handwriting is much worse on the web app, definitely, although you have some other features, but this missing the lines, these help lines and rule lines and missing, which makes a weird experience in general. Now I will use the HP one. Again, this is a duet. It's a web app. It's a first try. This is a test. And that's the HP. USI. I feel like the HP one writes a little bit better than the Lenovo one in the web app definitely. Now I will use the Microsoft Surface Pro using the Surface Pen and you got see you guys seeing the Chromebook Duet as a screen. So I'm using first the Windows app here. So I can write this is a Surface device. This is a Windows um, the writing looks much better here, definitely. First try, and the pen, and the glass surface, everything looks, feels premium here. And that's the surface pen. In general, the writing experience much different using the surface device and the surface pen. I will now switch to the Windows, to the web app, so we guys can see that also. So I have the Surface again, here I have a web app. It doesn't look good on the web application, what I'm seeing right now. First try, but we can check that also later. This is a test. And again, this is a Surface Pen. Give our conclusion here, which one performs better. I could easily say that the Surface Pen and the Windows app performs the best here. I would say that it does also some processing, as you guys can see from the handwriting here. In the end, you will, your handwriting also looks a little bit better in general. The web app from the Windows, like using the Chrome browser here, I will say was the worst for me, as I realized how bad it looks. In general, the web app, the palm rejection doesn't work, and also there's a larger latency here. The question is like from the web apps and the Android apps in the Duet, I will say that the web apps are both similarly bad, so I would consider them as like the same kind of, so I would give the four and four, fifth place for the this handwriting on the web. Now there comes the question between the HP one and the Lenovo one. I like the HP one's feeling better than the Lenovo one because of the tip, and it feels much nicer just to write, but as the quality of how it looks like here, the only differences that I realize are usually in the dots here. You guys can see that in the Lenovo one because of the tip is a little bit too round. The dots doesn't look in the end as circular as it should be kind of. You have it also here. That doesn't happen in the HP one. But beside that, the writing quality is not that much difference actually. Just the feeling because of the sharp tip here in the, in the HP one, you get a better feeling. So what I can conclude here, if you guys want to really do handwriting, 
So taking the notes, maybe we can also consider the option of the Microsoft Surface Go, the second generation. They are a little bit more expensive, but the handwriting quality and experience is definitely much better than the Duet. In the Duet, first problem is the hardware. The pro processor should get better, that, and also the latency will be reduced then. And the apps, the Android apps or the web apps that we use on the Chrome browser should get also more optimized. So right now the Android apps doesn't get, are not that optimized. So the experience is not the same with the Microsoft Surface device and the Windows app. Obviously it's OneNote that belongs also to the Windows. So they developed all the features in this Windows app. It's, yeah, you, you can understand that also. But if you want to use the OneNote, the Surface Pro will deliver better experience. It doesn't matter if Surface Pro Go you take or the you take the uh, Surface Pro you take or the Surface Go, like the cheap variant. In both cases, you will get a better experience. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was also my last review with this HP one, I will now return this pen. So hope to see you guys in the next one.